What's up, people? It's the Girl 30 here, and this is my mini Q&A number 11. Now, I know you guys are wondering, okay, didn't you skip number 10? No, I did not skip number 10. This is actually number 11 because this is these are questions that Final Limits have sent me. Now, I'm going to probably upload that video a little later because it was a lot of minutes, about 25 minutes worth of Q&A for one person for Nintendo Fanboy 19, 1988. So you can't tell me you didn't do it. But this is for Final Limits number. Uh, this is for Final Limits one. It actually sent me some questions, and I want to tell you guys for anybody that sent me questions, please not only number one, please send it to my YouTube inbox, and number two, please make it a maximum of at least 15 questions. Don't pull a Spaz Phoenix and send me 60 questions. I don't mind them. I love you guys sending me questions, but it's really hard to keep up with all of them and then have more questions come in and then have more people like, did you answer my question yet? So just send me a maximum of 15 questions for just for, for if you want to send me a list, at least make it a maximum of 15 and I'll be cool with that. I'll be able to get through it. And you guys will be able to have your questions heard. And I really do appreciate you guys sticking by me as well as sending me questions. But I want to get started with this whole Q&A right here, and this is all questions from Final Limits 1. Thank you so much for sending me questions, by the way. Um, what do you think of Degrassi Next Generation? I don't really watch Degrassi that often. Um, honestly, I don't really watch it at all. It's just nothing but a bunch of teen drama, and I kinda, I'm kind of kind of over it. And like I said, it's all in my handy day tablet here, so either or, let's get started on this. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what do you think of Drake? And do you know he can't... Uh, what, do you... Did you know before he came, before he became a rapper, on he was on Degrassi in the Next Generation? Um, I'm not really surprised that Drake was actually on Degrassi because he's somewhat of a drama puss, but that's just me. Um, his music isn't bad, but he's just he's just that regular R&B rapper that I have heard so many times before. Um, what do you think of Canadian Girls? They're not bad. I mean, I know I, I've met a few people from uh, from Canada. They're not really that bad, um, in my opinion. Have you ever? Um, did you ever do drugs in your life? No, no. I don't think I would ever want to anyway. Um, do you like Final Fantasy games? And if so, what are your favorites? <sighs> okay, I have to say that everyone's favorite that I know of will always be Final Fantasy VII. That will forever in any gamers lifetime they will say hands down either final fantasy 7 or final fantasy 10 but i have to say that my favorite is final fantasy 8 not a lot of people like final fantasy 8 but i liked it that was the first final fantasy game i ever played um on my um playstation and i'm not gonna lie that was probably the best well done game i've ever seen for that system and i loved every bit of it it was hard for me to get through i didn't really I wasn't able to beat the game completely, but my sister, she was the only one that was able to beat the game. We had to get a freaking game genie in order for us to literally beat the game all the way because it was that hard to, to literally get everything up in order to beat the, the, the head boss. But um, but I have to say this. It was a really good game, and I happened to like Final Fantasy VIII. That will, that will be my favorite. Okay, moving on from there. Um... Do you have any wife friends and do you have any <laughs> okay do you have any wife friends and do you have any black friends that's probably part que um, question you have like a two part so that's probably the first part I got both I got white friends and black friends I mean I don't really discriminate as long as you're cool with me I'm cool with you um what do you <laughs> what do you prefer more white friends or black friends doesn't I don't really have a preference I mean if you like me for my personality, then I like you for your personality, and we can be cool. We can be friends, and it, you know, and I'll be down with you. That's pretty much about it. It's not really much of a preference for me. Um, I do have both. I mean, one of my one of my um my best homies that happen that happens to be here, his name is Russ, and he's white, and he, that's my homeboy. He's like we nerd out all the time. That's my homeboy right there, and my homegirl um. Um, Tama Girl 101, she, um, or aka Lily, <laughs> I mean, she's my best friend, and she's black, and she's probably the coolest chick I've ever met, and she's a lot more daring than me, 
And that's one thing. And, you know, I have no preference. As long as I'm cool with you and we click, then no problem there. Keep it moving. <laughs> Keep rolling on. Okay, um, let me see. What do you think of Sean's View Entertainment? I got no problem with it. I mean, he has his own gimmick and the way that he um, brings people to watch his shows and everything. But I don't think that he's that bad. I mean, everybody has their own way of doing things. And, you know, I, I subbed him. So I have no problem with him. Um, what are your thoughts on the Chris Phoenix? I have no idea. I have not seen the Chris Phoenix. So I really don't know. Um, thoughts on Paris Hilton? Um... I really don't know why she's famous. Um, she's pretty much famous just for having a sex tape, just like Kim Kardashian. So, yeah. I mean, I have no beef with her or anything. Um, there was a point to where I actually went through a phase of actually liking Paris Hilton, but it was a phase. <laughs> but I got no beef with her. She's kind of keeping it on the low right now, and she kind of needs it because she's pretty much been in the limelight throughout pretty much the beginning of the 2000s. So, yes, yeah, she needs to lay low. Um, thoughts on Maria Menudos. Oh, good grief. Yeah, pretending to be a wrestler at Mania. I don't know why they picked Maria Menudos of all people. And it annoyed me to no end, the fact that she was there. And the fact that she got the pin. I mean, what was it on, Beth Phoenix? I mean, either or, it was just something that I just didn't really sit right with me. Why did they pick that little wafy chick? Period. They picked that little wafy chick from anyone they could have picked that represented that represented divas better than her. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Maria Menounos. She's just a glorified um, entertainment reporter. Ugh. But anyway, thoughts on the Brady Bunch. I, re I really wasn't around when the Brady Bunch first came out, but I have to say the Brady Bunch is just a it's just a big laugh fest to me because it's just so corny. If you literally will look back and watch every episode of the Brady Bunch, you would just do nothing but laugh of how corny it is. And how much you know about the the behind the scenes of the show now kind kind of takes you out of the whole show as a whole. Like I'm completely disenchanted with the Brady Bunch now because I know too much about what happened behind the scenes. So I don't know. I really don't care much about it. Um, what are your favorite cartoons and sitcoms of now and then? Um, back in when I was a child, I practically loved Danger Mouse and Banana Man. They had like imports of British uh, of British cartoons from way back in the day in the '80s, and I loved those shows. I really did. Um, I also loved Super Mario Brothers when they had that little moment. It's a Mario Brothers show, and they show Super Mario Brothers 3, which is one of my favorite games of all time. But anyway, that was one of my favorite shows from back then. Now, I have to say, I love anime. I, will, I love anime more now than I have then. And I have to say that now, Fruits Basket is one of my favorite animes that are out there. Um, there's so much more. For those that really want to get into anime... There are like maybe a handful of classics, that probably the top three, in my opinion, that you need to watch. Number one, you need to watch Cowboy Bebop. Probably one of the best dramas I have ever seen, ever, hands down. Number two, Full Metal Alchemist. Not Brotherhood, but the anime. Classic. It will definitely get you crying. That is a good show. Number three, I have to say Bacchano. Bacchano is awesome. Like, seriously, the way that they have put these characters together, it just either makes you laugh, cringe, or cry the whole time. That is a good show. So I suggest all you guys to, to watch that. There are several other animes that are out there, that the anime cartoons that are out there that are so great. But honestly, you should take a look at those three. And there's probably several others. So if you guys know any other ones, that if, if you know anyone that wants to get into anime and you have any ideas, Leave it in the comment section below. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about it. Um, moving on from there. Thoughts on New Ovino. I have no idea who, who New, Ovino, uh, New Ovino is. Um, oh, yeah, sitcoms. Um, anything TGIF. <laughs> okay, I have to say that there are two favorite shows from back in the day, back then, was Family Matters. I love Family Matters because Urkel, 
he had it. Erico pretty much stole the show, and he was awesome. He was awesome, and he also had his hot moments too. And there was dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. A very well put together show with one of the saddest endings on the face of the planet. But for those that have actually taken science class, you pretty much know what's going to happen there. But the way they did it, oh my gosh, it was so sad. Really, it was. But it was still a great show. Especially the fact that they had Sherman Helmsley as the boss. <laughs> oh, awesome. But yeah, those are my two favorite sitcoms for the day. And I guess I, that, that's for then. But for now, <sighs> Mike and Molly and Two Bro Girls. One of my favorite sitcoms. Like, seriously, I love the... the how I Met Your Mother isn't bad, but they're suffering from the Urkel complex. It took a really great story with a great storyline, just like with WWE, and then they shipped it into two characters that are dominating the entire show, Robin and Bernie. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just so thrown together. It's just so messed up. It's just a given that nothing works, but they're really willing to make it work for the casual fans of the show. Hence, like the WWE. So, it's not entirely my favorite anymore, but I still watch it. And I have to say Big Bang Theory. I like Big Bang Theory because it's more relatable. There are some hot nerds out there. But they don't know they're hot. So, so yeah. Honestly, I like that show. Not for that reason, but for Sheldon. I love Sheldon. But, moving on from there. New Avino, I have no idea what New Avino is. So, I'm sorry if I can't answer that. Thoughts on Dan Parkin. <laughs> Daniel is probably the most goofy, nerdy guy I've ever talked to in my life, but he is a great person to talk to. I have never had more fun talking to a YouTuber in a while, unless it's, it, it's non-wrestling. It's, it's always wrestling related when I talk to other YouTubers, but it's really fun talking to Daniel. Like, seriously, I love talking to Daniel Parker whenever I have a chance talking to him on Skype. He is probably the funniest guy and the most creative guy I have ever met in my life. And, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all up in a nutshell. All in and well, anyway, it's the whole thing all together <laughs> about Daniel Parkin. So if anybody has a chance to talk to Daniel Parkin, I'm going to be real. You're going to have a good time talking to him because he's a really great guy to talk to. And he's extremely funny. But moving on from there. Do you like burritos and pizza? Burritos is probably one of my most favorite foods that I can ever eat, ever. If I literally had a plate of burritos this big, or had a plate or had a burrito that was at least maybe a foot long and probably maybe two feet long, I would be so happy. Like seriously, I love burritos. You can put anything in it and it still tastes good. I I don't think it, it's such a thing as a bad burrito. But Pizza, I love pizza, but unfortunately with my stomach issues, I can't necessarily eat it. It makes my stomach upset because somehow maybe I have an allergy to the tomato sauce, so I can't necessarily eat it that often. It pretty much just um, puts me in knots and literally makes me ill. So I honestly cannot eat it. So unless it's white sauce, unless it's like Parmesan, um, Parmesan cheese, and I can probably eat it. But I am pretty much giving a little bit too much away. Yeah. Um, moving on to another question. <laughs> the final question. Do you smoke? No, I don't. Well, there you go. <laughs> there is all of my. Uh, there's all the questions that um, that Final Limits One has sent me. Thank you so much for sending me these questions. I'm gonna probably put this video up first because this video has a less amount of time and it may not take as long to load up. So I'm gonna probably put this video first and then put number ten on later. But anyway, guys, if you want to send me anything, send it to my YouTube inbox. And please, please give me a maximum of 15 questions so you guys will be able to have your questions answered on one Q&A. So thank you guys so much for sending me these questions. Keep them coming. I will answer them the best of my ability. This is Nature Girl 30 signing off. Peace out. Later.